Hello everyone, welcome to my channel where I share with you my adventures around the world. Today I'm going to show you a bit of my trip to Mexico, a country rich in culture, history, nature, and gastronomy. Mexico is one of the most popular destinations in Latin America, and I'll show you why. Let's check it out. I arrived in Mexico through Mexico City Airport, which is the capital and largest city in the country. Mexico City is a vibrant metropolis, full of contrasts, colors, and movement. You can find everything here, from museums, palaces, churches, parks, markets to ruins, fortresses, stadiums, and skyscrapers. It's a city that blends the past and the present, tradition and modernity, art and politics. One of the things I enjoyed most in Mexico City was visiting the Frida Kahlo Museum, which is the house where the famous Mexican painter lived, who is an icon of art and feminism. There you can see her paintings, personal belongings, clothes, photos, and even her bedroom and bed, where she spent a lot of time suffering from an accident and illness. It's a very emotional and inspiring place that shows the strength and creativity of this incredible woman. Another thing I loved doing in Mexico City was visiting the archaeological site of Teotihuacan, which is an ancient pre-Hispanic city that was one of the largest and most important in Mesoamerica. There you can see the pyramids of the sun and the moon, which are impressive for their height and shape, and were used for religious and astronomical rituals. You can also see the Avenue of the Dead, which is a road that connects the main buildings of the city and got its name because the Spanish thought they were tombs. You can also see the Temple of Quetzalcoatl, which is a pyramid decorated with sculptures of feathered serpents, which were a symbol of power and wisdom. After exploring Mexico City, I went to the south of the country to visit the Oaxaca region, famous for its culture, gastronomy, and nature. Oaxaca is a state with great ethnic and linguistic diversity, where you can find various indigenous peoples such as the Zapotecs, Mixtecs, Mazatecs, among others. You can also find various typical dishes such as mole, which is a sauce made with various ingredients like chocolate, peppers, peanuts, etc., and can accompany meat, rice, tortillas, etc. You can also find various types of cheese, corn, beans, fruits, insects, etc. One of the things I enjoyed most in Oaxaca was visiting the archaeological site of Monte Alban, which is an ancient Zapotec city that was one of the most important political and religious centers in Mesoamerica. There you can see the ruins of temples, palaces, tombs, ball courts, etc. You can also see the danzantes, which are stone sculptures representing prisoners of war and have inscriptions that tell the history of the city. You can also see a panoramic view of the region, surrounded by mountains and valleys. Another thing I loved doing in Oaxaca was visiting the Hirvi el Agua National Park, which is a natural reserve with very curious rock formations that look like petrified waterfalls. These formations are caused by water that springs from the ground, rich in minerals, and crystallizes upon contact with the air. The water also forms natural pools, which have a turquoise blue color and are great for refreshing and relaxing. The place is very beautiful and peaceful with an incredible view of the landscape. After visiting Oaxaca, I went to the east of the country to visit the Yucatan region famous for its beaches, ruins, and culture. Yucatan is a state with a strong Mayan influence, one of the oldest and most advanced civilizations in America. 
You can find various traces of its culture, such as language, religion, art, architecture, mathematics, astronomy, etc. One of the things I enjoyed most in Yucatan was visiting the archaeological site of Chichen Itza, an ancient Mayan city that was one of the most powerful and influential in Mesoamerica. There, you can see the Pyramid of Kukulkan, one of the wonders of the world with an incredible mathematical and astronomical design. You can also see the Temple of the Warriors, a complex of columns and sculptures representing Mayan soldiers and gods. You can also see the sacred cenote, a natural cavity filled with water used for sacrifice and offering rituals. Another thing I loved doing in Yucatan was visiting the city of Merida, the capital and largest city of the state. Merida is a colonial city with very interesting architecture, history, and culture. You can see Paseo de Montejo, an avenue with various historical buildings and monuments, such as the Canton Palace, an anthropology museum, and the Monument to the Homeland, a sculpture depicting the history of Mexico. You can also see Plaza Grande, the main square of the city, where you can see the Cathedral of San Ildefonso, the oldest in America, and the government palace, with murals depicting the conquest and revolution of Mexico. Well, folks, that was a summary of my trip to Mexico, a country I loved visiting and recommend to anyone who enjoys traveling. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to know more details about my trip, leave a comment and I'll respond. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel to follow my next adventures. Kisses and see you next time.